so at school, my best subject was science. Um, so I think it was a bit of a surprise um, that I went on to do theology and religious studies at Cambridge. Um, and I only sort of just scraped in, um, having not quite met my offer, but with paper remarks, um, I got to um, Cambridge in the Divinity Faculty. Um, so that was really exciting. Um, though I was quite nervous in the summer before coming up. I was at Newnham College, um, matriculated in 2011, graduated with my BA in 2014 and my MA in 2018. Since graduation, well first um, I started with a um, charity internship um, that I really enjoyed. Then um, that sort of led me on to think about going traveling. Um, so I spent a few months in Oman and then six months in Israel, um, visiting also um, the occupied Palestinian territories and Jordan. Um, and I felt really privileged to go to Nazareth um, and see the places um, that I've been studying about in um, my degree. And then um, in 2016, Having travelled, I thought I'd better um, find and sort of start on my career. So I joined at KPMG LLP and became a management consultant specialising in um, human resources and people consulting. And that's where I've been ever since. It's hard to kind of think back. I remember my father saying, um, oh, everyone at Cambridge will be very nerdy. I'm not sure you'll fit in. Um, and one of my friends saying, oh, I expect they'll be very posh. Um, but actually, um, on the whole, I got on really well with everyone, um, made lifelong friends. Um, and yeah, was just really happy at, at Cambridge. Well, there was a real mixture um, from people like me, um, who'd had relatives who'd been to Oxbridge um, and had sort of told us a bit about what to expect, um, to friends who were the first in their um, family to go to university at all. Um, so it was, it was a really positive mixture. Um, and the other thing I remember vividly from first year is I expected we'd all um, sort of be encouraged to study and take our exams really seriously. Um, but actually, um, all of our lecturers said, just make sure you're getting enough sleep and looking after yourself and your well-being in the run up to those first year exams. And I, I was surprised. I didn't expect to be told to sleep more to prepare for the exams. Um, but it, it really helped. Um, and it was nice, you know, how much they put an emphasis on our well-being almost above and before um, the academic results. Good question. <laughs> there are so many different um, memories to choose from and uh, I expect my friends um, would have lots of stories um, of the fun we got up to. I think um, something that at the time was almost normal because it happened to so many students and on at least sort of one occasion I feel now looking back um, but coming away from Cambridge you just realise that it it was such a special um, memory and, and something that only happens in Cambridge um, was to see Lord Rowan Williams the former Archbishop of Canterbury and one of my lecturers wandering around Sainsbury's doing his weekly shopping because um, there's sort of only one um, big supermarket in town and it's that one so everyone goes to it um, and <laughs> when I saw him I sort of quickly ducked into the next aisle <laughs> and tried to finish my shopping as quickly as possible and get away before I got stopped and asked too many questions. That's a really good question because it sort of helped me in more ways um, than I can probably name. Um, I've come such such a long way in my thinking. Um, 
particularly um, valued the time doing theology to think about why am I here? Um, what is a good life? Um, what matters most to me? Um, and the critical thinking skills, self-awareness, um, ability to appreciate different perspectives um, and that there's, there's more to the world than just the way I see it, um, as well as learning to cope under pressure um, have really helped stand me in good stead. Um, and I think I probably draw on those skills on an almost daily basis in my current job, um, particularly the, the self-awareness to know what um, I'm capable of and when it's okay to say, actually, I'm gonna need a bit more help on this one. Um, it's really valuable. Do it, <laughs> it's a great course. Um, also, um, the things that really helped me in the summer before um, going up to Cambridge were to get to know the alphabet. Um, so I chose to study Quranic Arabic um, and just getting used to the script. Um, so you can do things like take the letters and write words you know, but with those letters. Um, and that just helps you at least start not too far behind. Um, and I think that's true, whatever language you're studying, whether it's the classical Greek or the Hebrew, um, it can take time to just get comfortable um, with the different alphabet. Um, and then also just read, um, read for pleasure um, and start to um, open your mind to new ideas because um, you'll get lots more of it at Cambridge, but that's half the fun. Like it's um, a course that encourages you to think and broaden your horizons, um, and it's never too soon to start. Um, I would, and um, I'd also tell myself to worry less and enjoy it more. Um, I might be a more difficult student. Um, the next time around, <laughs> asking more questions in my supervisions. Um, but I, I think it gave me a really good, solid foundation. Um, and I think the course is a good balance between um, stretching you and helping you to grow academically, but also giving you space to explore everything that Cambridge has to offer. Um, certainly for me, getting to the union um, and hearing um, debates on does God exist, which just as enlightening and exciting um, as sitting in the lecture hall. Um, and I think some of the Cambridge courses where the workload is that much more intense, people don't have time, um, to sort of get away from the library enough. Um, and like for me, my Cambridge experience um, started at the Divinity Faculty, but it then um, went sort of spread outwards and it was everything um, I learned and understood while I was there. Like the um, coffee mornings are still going at the Divinity Faculty because um, I loved volunteering at those. Um, it was such a nice way to get to know, um, you know, the PhD students um, and the postgrads, um, and um, raise your game, as it were. <laughs> so if I thought what I was studying was hard um, with the supervision essay, I'd then talk to someone else and be like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and realize that I'm still only in the foothills um, of the mountains, and there's a lot more to climb. Um, but no, I, I've really enjoyed it. Um.